Hello fellow YouTubers, I'm Cassandra Joy and welcome to my channel. All you loyal regulars know this already, but for anybody new and who doesn't know, I love thrifting. Not just because it's cost effective, saves money, and 90% of my loft is full of the stuff, but because it's fun. <laughs> to me, it's a treasure hunt. I mean, you're talking to the girl who would dig in her backyard for hours looking for gold because she was convinced that pirates buried their treasure there. Never did find gold, but I found thrifting. And that's almost just as cool. Usually I take you around and about to my favorite thrifting spots, whether it's Goodwill, although they've raised their prices, so I probably won't be going there as much, hole in the wall thrift shops that nobody knows exist, but totally should, all the way to the more pricey flea markets and antique warehouses. No matter where we go, it's always fun. But today, I'm not taking you anywhere. We're staying right here because today is a top try on thrifted, of course. I don't know what it's like weather-wise where you live, but in Ohio, it's full throttle autumn. Today is the first properly chilly day we've had up to the point where you need layers and a coat with layers. That part I'm not that jazzed about, but the fashion, oh, the fashion I'm thrilled about. Give me all the textures, give me all the layers. Sweaters, wraps, shirts, jackets, scarves, hats, I want them all. For anybody who doesn't know, I've been on a health journey for the past three and a half years, done keto for that length of time. It's been the best decision for me and my health, but it also means that very few of my clothes fit me anymore, <laughs> including stuff left over from last year's fall clothing. So that meant I needed to go on a little shopping spree and find some new clothes for this year. Boy, did I find some tops. And I have a lot. <laughs> and I figured it would be way more fun to try them on with you. I pulled you guys both on Instagram and on the YouTube community tab what you wanted to see this weekend as far as the video and you all pretty much unanimously voted for a thrifted top try on haul. So let's get started. But before we jump into any thrifted tops, I needed to give this sweatshirt its moment. If anybody follows Desi Darling on YouTube, you'll know she has the most incredible sweatshirt merch. They're all darling. And my sweet fellow YouTuber friend, Monica, gifted this to me, just out of the kindness of her heart. I didn't ask her to, didn't even know she was doing it. Got a total happy mail surprise and I literally teared up at the card she gave me, so. I not only needed to give this beautiful, cozy sweatshirt its moment, but also take a second to thank Monica for sending it to me. It's my new favorite thing, and I'll probably be wearing it until the end of time. No exaggeration. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Thank you, Monica. Okay, let's get to thrifted tops. Okay, we're starting off with this one. It's a brown, gray, and black striped shirt. I've only tried one or two of these on, so most of them are first impressions right off the bat. On camera, I think I like this. Horizontal stripes always give me a little bit of pause because they don't tend to do me any favors. I love the colors. That's what initially made me me grab it. I like the neckline too, sort of the ruching here. I like everything about it except the directionality of the stripes. <laughs> so I'm gonna call this a maybe. This shirt I have tried on before, wore it to work in fact, and absolutely love the color. I don't know if any of you know this about me, but back in the day, in my after college era, I decorated primarily in turquoise and orange. I don't do that anymore, but I still feel myself gravitating to teal quite often, especially this rich one, not the bright, bold, beachy turquoise, but more of the subdued, muted teal. Oh, so good. And I just love the juxtaposition between the cool tone of the shirt and the warmth of my hair. I think the two complement each other really well, so this is a definite keep. Speaking of juxtaposition, I think these two colors do a really good job of that. I really love the fit of this. So cute. I love the two colors. It's very summery. This is not a typical fall top, but I am very warm-blooded, especially when I get moving. Like right now, I'm dying. So short sleeves, even in the winter, are a must in a working environment. And if I can add a little bit of bright cheerfulness to the dreary winter months coming up with a little bit of color, I'm okay with that. I like it. It's just a simple top, but sometimes simple is nice. Definite key. In direct opposition to the bright, cheerful colors, we're going black. I'm a sucker for a black top. It just feels good. <laughs> it goes with everything, especially because black is slimming and there are just certain days where you need a shirt that makes you feel slim. I love a good grab and go black tee. There's so little thinking involved. It goes with jeans. I just love it. Everything about it. This one is cool because it has a sort of lace layer over top. So I don't know if I can show you, but they separate. I can 
do one of these. <laughs> but I kind of like that. It gives a little bit of interest. Makes it a little more ornate, not quite as simple, which is nice sometimes. I like this. I think the fit is good. I think the shape suits me. I'd wear it out and about. This is a yes. With this one, I wanted to add some longer sleeves into the mix just for the cooler days where maybe I'm not working but I'm out and about. I think I like it. Again, the stripes that go side to side, <laughs> they are the bane of my existence, but I love the colors. I think the pink is really sweet. There are darker tones in it that could be complementary to the fall season. This zipper is really cool, but I'm not going to lower it anymore because it's definitely a little more daring than I would go for. But the options there if I want it. Pink is a little bit of a question mark when you have red hair. I know Ariel did it and it suited her great, although I'm sure there are a lot of opinions to the contrary on the internet about that. I thought it suited her. And if I'm gonna take any fashion cues from a redhead, it's obviously going to be Ariel. Plus I'm a pink girl anyway. I really love that dusty rose shade. I think this is a maybe. It's a maybe. We'll think about it. For the same reason I love black shirts, I also love gray shirts. But this one, for some reason, I just feel like it washes me out. You can let me know in the comments. I thought the counterbalance between a cool tone top and warm hair would help with the washing out part, but I just don't know. I'll come a little closer. I have dark lipstick on, which probably helps, but I just loved this lace detailing. Made the top a little less simple, a little more interesting. I'll probably keep it, whether or not it washes me out, just because I feel comfortable in it. It's just a nice, easy breezy top to throw on for going out with friends or for work. This top is similar to the black one in the way it has that lace layer over top. And green is just an easy yes for me. I have green eyes. Green just seems to suit me, especially in the autumn. I like the fit. I think it looks good. I like the length of it too. I'm really picky on the length of my tops. If it's too short, I don't wear it. Even if it's the most darling, most affordable <laughs> top in the world, I won't keep it if it's too short. This kind of below the pockets length for someone with a long torso like me, that's my comfortable length. And I think this does the trick. I'm gonna call this a key. This shirt I've worn to work before, and it's just the most lightweight, breezy, silky material. I wish you could feel it. It just feels so good against the skin. I really like that slightly blue cast to the charcoal gray going on. I think it works really well with my skin tone, with my hair. I think it frames me well. It is just a touch shorter here in the front than I would like, but not to the point where I could say, nah, I, I don't feel comfortable in it. I do, especially if I were to wrap a flannel around my waist to sort of challenge that length, make it stay, having a flannel tucked around, keeps it in place. That's what I did at work, and it seemed to do pretty well. I like it. It's comfortable, it's breezy. The feel of the fabric is like, not silk, but kind of that buttery feel. So good, a keep. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know about this one. <laughs> I love the flowers. I think they're really cheerful. I think the colors are nice. It's just blah. It doesn't give me any sort of exciting feeling. I'll probably keep it just so I have some options and <laughs> I'm not wearing the same thing over and over. I think the fit is nice. I think the colors suit me. I just don't know. I wish I had a full length mirror and not just the viewfinder to see myself because it has all of the things I would check mark as a yes. But for some reason, I just am not convinced. But it's not a no. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile and think about it a little bit. Here we have another gray shirt. And I wanna say this right off the bat, I don't wanna keep every yes. If I have two gray shirts, I wanna pick one and return the other one. I got to the point between being a threat of ambassador and a constant thrifter, my closet was just so full of clothes that I didn't even know what I owned anymore. And now that I'm replenishing it, basically starting from almost scratch, I'd like to not get back to that point. I'd like to keep my closet relatively small. I like options and I don't wanna wear the same thing every single week, but I'd like to steer more toward the capsule wardrobe area <laughs> as a personal goal. I think I might keep this one and put the one with the lace down the middle back. I love the lace detail, but I like the fit of this more. I think it's just a little more loose, a little longer, and for a long torso girly, that's important. It also has these cute little copper beading. I don't know if it'll show up on camera or not. And then this really subtle geometric print. Very faded, kind of grungy, which is totally my vibe. So I'm thinking this is a yes, and I'm gonna put the other one 
in the return pile. I gotta say, I've never been a royal blue kind of person. That's always been my mom's favorite color. Never one that I gravitated to or bought. But every time I wear it, it seems to garner me a lot of compliments. So I'm taking my cues from other people that it must flatter me enough for someone to feel the need to compliment me on it, which is why I picked this top up. I liked the flower motif kind of trailing down the side of it. I think it's cute. I don't know if it's as slouchy as I'd like, but the color is so nice. Just a cheerful pop of something. And again, if we're gonna take fashion tips from Ariel, she did have a royal blue dress when she had her land legs dancing with Prince Eric, so who am I to say no to a royal blue top? Okay, I love this color, but it is too short. <laughs> I would be tugging on the hem of this all the live long day, and I just can't do that. Love the color, and even the fabric is a little more thick, so it would keep me warmer, but it's just, it's just too short. I can't do it, it's a no. I had to double check to see if this was inside out or not, because this is the top layer, and this is the bottom, <laughs> kind of sheer. I would think this would go over the top, but apparently not. Oh, I see, it kind of adds some length to the bottom. Okay, that's all right, it just threw me for a second. This shirt has some really cute bedazzling going on, which is not normally something I gravitate to, but I have no plain white tees. I just don't, which is a travesty. This is a yes, simply because of the color, the fact that I don't have anything like this. Checks off all the boxes, I like it. I'll be honest with you, red shirts always make me hesitate, not because I don't love the color red, but because red clothing with red hair doesn't always work. It greatly depends on the shade of red. So if it's that bright, bold primary color, I can't wear it. It just is too jarring, doesn't work with my complexion very well, it doesn't work for me. But if it's something a little darker, like this one, sort of on the maroon end of things, I tend to like it better. It complements the warmth in my skin, the warmth in the tone of my hair, and I think for that reason, this shirt is a yes. I like the length, the feel of it's nice, it's just sort of slouchy, has a grungy sort of two-tone pattern on it. I think it suits me and my hair. <laughs> Red and red, it, it, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I think this works. Speaking of red, we have another one, and I feel like this is gonna be a no, for a couple of reasons. I like a little bit of glitz and glamour, but this feels sort of like the glitz and glamour someone of an older generation would appreciate more than someone of mine. This just kinda has old lady vibes, and I'm not here for it. Something about the cut, the pattern, the beating, I don't know, it just isn't giving someone in their 30s, it's giving someone in their 50s. And if this is the kind of stuff you like, no shame, but I just don't think it suits me and my style, so this is a no. We have another white shirt, and this is making me want to go on a vacation in the summer in Greece. Something about the tassels and the sort of Grecian pattern right here. I kind of like it, it's not putting me off at all. The sleeves are cute, I might even have to tighten the sleeves just a little bit so that they stay up. Not poofed, but zhuzhed, I guess, would be the word for it. I don't think this is something I would wear in the fall, though. I think I would save it for the spring, really. It doesn't give off autumn to me, but I do like it. So I might put it in the maybe pile just to see how I feel after wearing it a little bit. I don't know, does Grecian fashion work for me? You'll have to let me know, because I don't think I've ever worn anything that resembled a Grecian vacation in the summertime. But if it gives me the main character energy of starring in a Mamma Mia movie, I'm okay with that. Okay. Um, I think I love it. This looks so cute. I just love the colors. I love the florals. This is a sort of lacy overlayer. This is the fabric of the underside. It just looks so pretty. The colors are giving me life. This is definitely a spring top, but I don't think there are any rules. You know, if I wanna wear a spring top just because it makes me happy, I'm not gonna deprive myself of that joy. The lace is so feminine. The colors, all the pink tones are so me. I love this more than I probably should. <laughs> it's just really sweet. Definitely not autumn, but it's cute. And it makes me happy, so it's going in the yes pile. 
Okay, I know this technically isn't a top, it's more of a tank, but I am in desperate need of tanks. I have none that fit me. They all are so big that they show all of this, which isn't great. So I got this just to sort of start my tank collection again, because they come in so handy with layering, with wraps, and speaking of wraps, I found this. How flipping cute is it? The colors, oh my gosh, the colors. They're so fall and happy. I'm an easy world, please give me something with all the warm tones and you will have checked off the most important box. This is also super soft. I wish you could feel it. I don't know how to explain it. It almost feels like cashmere, even though this obviously isn't cashmere. And it matches, by total accident, the tank perfectly. I actually bought the tank at a totally different time. Didn't even think about the fact that they went together because I love warm tones. I obviously gravitate to similar shades and it worked out. See, this is why a capsule wardrobe is so important because it doesn't matter what you buy, it will all match each other, which gives you outfit options for days. And if you're anything like me, that's important. I love that this is sewn down the side. I don't think it was originally. I think someone did that. I like the fact that they're sewn because it gives this a little more stability, a little more consistency and shape. This will keep me so warm in the fall. I cannot wait to find an opportunity to wear this. Love, love, love. Trust me when I say you are not ready for the next thing I'm gonna show you. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ta-da! Okay, I know it's a little underwhelming, but hear me out, these are my reasons. Does it or does it not look like a sweater from the Weasley family. Does this not look like a sweater that Ron would wear? I mean, the textures, the colors, the fit. Listen, I found this in the men's section. The men's clothing section was my size. And let me just tell you, men's clothing do not do long torso things well for some reason. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is this. Perfectly. I feel like I'm an honorary Weasley. I mean, <laughs> red hair, freckles, and a hand-me-down robe. Must be a Weasley. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is just giving me all the endorphins, all the serotonin. This might be my favorite thing that I have found in the whole haul yet. I have one more item, and I probably should have saved this for a finale, but I just couldn't because I'm so cute. I officially have a Weasley sweater, and I could not be more thrilled. This is an obvious keep if that wasn't clear. For the grand finale, may I present the softest sweater that ever did exist. This feels so good. I don't know if you've ever seen The Holiday. One of the best Christmas movies. I watch it every single year. Such a favorite. Diaz's character wears this obviously cashmere sweater and it just looks like the kind of fabric you would want to rub your face against. This feels like that. Again, it's not cashmere, but it has that really soft fabric you just want to curl up with and I think that's perfect for the autumn season. The dusty rose color, can we please talk about that? And this beautiful lacy black detailing, I love it so much. This is the kind of pink that goes with red hair, doesn't look too jarring or garish, I think it's so sweet. I can already tell. This is something I'm gonna grab for all of the friend hangouts when I wanna just be cozy and chat. Maybe we're watching a movie, maybe we're going book shopping. This is the sweater I'm gonna pull out. That one or the Weasley sweater, one of the two. So fun, so comfy, a definite yes. And that is the thrifted top haul. I don't know if you ever do clothing hauls, but my word, it's like a cardio workout. I need a full 24 hours to recover from that. <laughs> I know I haven't done a thrifted clothing haul in a long time, so I hope you enjoyed that. It's been really fun diving back into fashion again now that I'm feeling more comfortable in the size that I am, now that my body kind of feels familiar again with all of the sizes that it's lost. It's been exceptionally fun to sort of start from scratch with a lot of my clothing pieces. I've kept one or two pieces that by some miracle fit me, they just fit better <laughs> from last year. A couple of sweaters, a couple of tops, but for the most part, I'm starting over. And that's been a real joy. It's given me an excuse to go shopping again, which I hadn't really allowed myself to do too much because my closet was overflowing. Now, it's kind of looking sparse and I can fill it back up again, which is such a fun feeling. So thank you for coming along on this try on video today. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment which items were your favorite. You can have more than one, I'll allow it. And whether you're new or a casual lurker that hasn't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a future video from me. I upload on Saturdays every single week. I would tell you that it's always up at 6 p.m., but that would be a lie. <laughs> 
<laughs> life's been so hectic and crazy and you've all been so lovely with your patience and understanding. I never miss an upload, ever. It just isn't always the same time. So definitely make sure you have your notification bell on and that you're subscribed so that you never miss when the video does go live. Speaking of live, I've also been doing some really fun creative hangouts with you that are live on YouTube. I get to interact with you kind of one-on-one -on -one in real time, which has been such a treat. I've never had that capability before and it's been so much fun and you all seem to enjoy it. So let me know if you'd like me to keep that up. My thought was to continue doing lives on Wednesday evenings around 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time through the month of November. Because for anybody in the writer's world, November is NaNoWriMo. I don't remember what it stands for, but it's basically where all of the writers of the world get together and use the month of November as the excuse to write as many words as possible on whatever project they're working on, usually a book, and I would love to take advantage of that and give you the opportunity to do whatever creative endeavor you've been putting off because life happens and have isolated time to not only hang out with me, but get those projects done. So if you don't comment anything else, please comment and let me know if you would be down for that for the month of November, doing lives every Wednesday. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm gonna grab a pumpkin spice soda and <laughs> relax. <laughs> so I will see you in the next one. Love you guys. Mwah!